This project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year PCBWay organized the 7th project design contest where in addition to electronic and mechanical project also has been added a new code category STM32 project. For the best selected projects are provided rich prizes in cash, coupons and special gifts. Submit your project for partici participation in this contest from 2nd September 2024 to 9th January 2025. For more detailed information and instruction, visit the given page. Let's PCB Way always be your first choice. Hello! Elecro Crew Panel 2.8 inch ESP32 display module is ideal for making simple but also relatively complex project where no soldering of components is required. In addition to the ESP32 microcontroller and touch display, this module also, also contains an audio amplifier and SD card reader and even a lithium battery charger circuit. If necessary, a large number of external modules can be connected to this module because, it's, because it contains UART, I2C and GPIO ports which make this inexpensive device universal. Recently in one of my videos I presented you an internet radio project where eight of these modules only need a speaker, battery and switch. For the device that I will present you this time uh, we will only need one more button. Building an internet weather station is a popular project among electronics enthusiasts. The display, to display the local weather conditions, no sensors are used, but the requested information is received via the internet. In particular, we will use the data from the Open Weather Map project, which has an API that enables users to request weather data for current location. For this purpose, we need to create an API key on the Open Weather Map page that allows us 1000 API calls per day for free. Uh, the author of the original project is Andrei Ushakov and all credits go to him. However, the arch archive is full of many different versions and other da data. In addition, the code is relatively complex and has too many options such as the type of microcontroller used, MP3 player, FM radio, support for external sensor, next different types of displays, the options of 2D displays, infrared control, calendar and many others. It was really hard to navigate through all the code ver versions, options and information. That, that's why I decided to modify the code so that it would completely match to this display module. I will try to, expl to explain all the steps in detail so that even those with less, less experience in this field can make the device. After all, this is the biggest advan advantage of this compact display module. First, we need to enable display module in the Arduino environment. For this purpose, we go to Arduino ID, File, Preferences, where we add the ESP32 URL in the Additional Boards Manager URLs.
Now click Tool, Board, Board Manager, and search for ESP32. This project required it to be installed version of 1.0.6. I already installed that version. Next, on Arduino ID, Tools, Boards, ESP32 Arduino, we choose ESP32 Dev Module. And set the parameters and the, as in the given image. We can also change partition shame to the huge app. With this, the procedure of for entering support for the specific display module in the Arduino ID is completed. Next, we need to install ESP32 file system uploader. For this purpose, we go to Documents, Arduino, create new folder named Tools, Uh, and here we copy the, uh, in this folder we copy the ESP32FS folder given below. Uh, to check if the plugin was successfully installed, we need to open uh, Restart Arduino ID. Now we go to Tools and check that you have the option ESP32 Sketch Data Upload. Next is the installation of the libraries. The zip file contains uh, all the libraries needed for this project. In order not to have a conflict with previously installed different versions, I recommend to you I recommend you to use this temporary procedure. In, document, in Documents, Arduino, we rename the, the current Libraries folder to Libraries Old. Uh, now, here we extract the Libraries folder which is in the given zip file. In this way, the code will compile without any errors. Before starting upload the code, we need to modify the config.txt file, which is located in the Meteo data folder. So this file is config.txt. Here we need to enter uh, API key from Open Weather Map, Time Zone, as well as latitude and longitude for the desired location. We also need to enter, enter the same data in the code in the appropriate place. Now we open the meteo.ino file, which is located in the folder of the same name. We go to Tools, select the appropriate COM port associated with the module, in my case COM4 and press ESP32 Sketch Data Upload.
Now, after this, we press the upload button and with that the installation of the code will be finished. When the device is started for the first time, uh, after some time a message appeared on the screen that a Wi-Fi access point with the name ESP Meteo and the corresponding password has been generated. So this is that screen. Now we need to connect to this access point on our PC Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi. ESP Meto connect with corresponding password. and enter the address, the given address in a web browser. Here uh, we enter the credel credentials of our local Wi-Fi network, SSID and password, and press submit. After this, we turn on the device and the screen first shows data about the IP address and uh, Wi-Fi signal straight. And after a few moments, the main screen with the basic information appears. It contains a medium-sized clock, date, current weather and UV index, wind speed and direction with air pressure, sunrise and sunset times, forecast for next 3 and 6, six hours, as well as for the next 4 days. Really a lot of useful information on one screen. But that is not all. By pressing the button we move through several screens containing other different weather information and graphs. This is bigger clock and basic informations. Moonrise moonset. Detailed weather forecast for next two to three days. A calendar and basic information. Nice graphic graphic presentation for basic. Uh, meteorological parameters like temperature, pressure, rainfall, etc. Big digital clock and again main basic screen. As I mentioned before this module also contains an audio amplifier so this time I also activated the internet radio part of the code which uses, which uses the I2S protocol and there is no need for uh, external audio decoder. The, the internet radio menu menu is entered and exited with a double click. As you can see, uh, here we have a small analog clock uh, and a list of internet stations that can that can be uh, activated in sequence with the click of a button. It is important to know that multiple groups of internet stations with different genres can be formed and groups can be accessed by triple clicking.
This is other group. Or other group. We double click, uh, we are back to the uh, weather station menu. And finally a short conclusion, I think this is the most advanced internet weather station that you can easily make yourself thanks to the electro display module. Internet radio is also a bonus which does not have many options due to only one button used in the project but is therefore fully functional and easy to set up. This small practical and inexpensive display module is ideal for making audiovisual application with ESP32 quickly without soldering and with and without much knowledge if the code is previously prepared specifically for it.